Howdy, howdy. Uh, Brian here for quantlabs.net. Today is 4.30. Uh, the time or the date is November 9th. All right, so now that we got some new charts to play with, things to look at, um, I'm going to do, I'm hoping a high level uh, market analysis here. Um, and this is the freshest data I've got. Um, this is, of course, spread over Forex, uh, CFDs, as well as uh, crypto. So the interesting one I want to do first is let me let me do the for uh, CFD. Okay, so okay, so here we have all our new uh, charts that I just uh, finished up on uh, a few hours ago. And uh, we're just going to go through them, just verifying everything here. Yeah, everything's looking good. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So, let me go to the top here. All right. So, as you know, it is now just after the first week of November. And it's quite interesting how uh, things are in a mixed mode right now where we have the U.S., 30 282 uh, and not not much the other chart I like I had way back where it showed the negative the number of negative movers but you can clearly see out of uh, 16 entries um, quite a few are barely profitable but the ones that are doing okay are the uh, gold and silver. Um, so the volume's up on that one, so that's a defensive play happening. SPX 500, uh, and then then this one is this one throws me off. The New Zealand at four, or sorry, uh, the Netherlands, I believe. Yeah, Netherlands at 14.48, and then we have here um, the Nasdaq, very high volumes. Um, and the IN50. Now, if you just looking at this right now, I wouldn't put a lot of capital into the, Na the NASDAQ here, the 100. Um, but the only one I may do that has some volume is probably the USD30. And that's pretty well it. Um, it's been consistently profitable over the last three hours, which is kind of good. That's the only one that really intrigues me, to be honest. Uh, so that's up quite a bit. Uh, the NASDAQ uh, 30, the volume is not that high. Uh, actually, it's third. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not that good, the volume here. The ranking I'm not even going to look at. Um, so... Here, it, it's quite interesting. Everything's going flat. You can clearly see it in these charts. Hit a peak. Uh, it hits a peak right around. Let me, just, uh, let me just choose one that looks good. None of these look good, actually. Um, it's been down, down. Some of them have been hit really hard. Like when you check out this US uh, 2000, which is the uh, Russell, had a little bit of recovery, goes flat, and then earlier today just gets hit quite hard. And uh, that's since the last uh, week or so. Um, so there's been a little bit of recovery. These are the moves I just don't like. Everything's just flat. And I think everything is rotating into things like gold. I mean, look, here's oil. Uh, oil uh, was down, got hit. Uh, Brent crude, it's just been flat, it's been going down, but it may pop. This little candle might mean something because of the OPEC uh, meeting this weekend, and that may be some good news, and, and it may it may, may spike. Who knows? Um, let me see if there's any concerns of any. Look, look, at, look that is huge. There's been no really bid-ass spread concerns here. Stop losses, 
this is this is quite interesting as well. Uh, I, I, I when I started developing this, I didn't realize how effective this thing would be. You can clearly see that the Nasdaq 100 historically is too high. The Hong Kong 30, though, this one I like. I'm not gonna lie, this one I like. It's right in that what we like the golden zone. Just if if it goes up to right here, uh, level three. Uh, in the Fibonacci level 382, that is a possible entry. Just like here, went up and boom. That is a potential. It's got the, um, I believe, if I remember, it does have the volume to check up on that. So this is looking pretty good. Again, overvalued. US 30, US just, just over overvalued. I wouldn't even be touching this. So I think the smart money is kind of looking at Hong Kong because it, it has come down historically, has come back a little bit. But um, the only opportunity I'm seeing is this, the Hong Kong 33. And this ratio right here, again, is another one that is very intriguing. Uh, I'd have to look at the reports to really give you conviction on how I feel about that. But those are the only two ones that I would probably uh, jump into uh, because the other ones, the U.S.-based ones, are just overvalued. All right, so that's CFD. Uh, okay, so let's check out the Forex here. All right, so Forex... Okay, so in my previous video on spread, we do need to be very aware of it. But you can see here that the U.S. Turkish Lira is outperforming. If I go to my um, Oanda live spread, like, just to, to see, because, again, this is all Oanda. <laughs> Oanda spread live. Okay, let's check this out. Man, nobody likes me. Oh, I'm using Firefox. Forgive me. Uh, Oanda Live Spread. All right. So, so what we're looking for here, it's a good re it's a good return right now. Two point seven. Um. So which one are we looking for here? So it's the U.S. Try. USDTRY, yeah, see see that? That spread's pretty high. It's 104, so you need to be concerned about that. The Euro, Turkish Lira, another one I wouldn't be surprised. New Zealand, Canadian. Um, now, I also need to remind you, uh, I did point out, oh, my charts aren't working for some reason, or what's not working, oh, the spread. <clears throat> wow, bugs, 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 bugs. Anyways, let's check out the spread. So you can clearly, as I said, the, the spread's too pretty high. The New Zealand right now is looking okay. New Zealand, Japanese yen is not too bad. The South African rand. So let's go back here. Wish this was working. Um, so which one... The spread, okay, so the New Zealand Canadian dollar, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I wish I had the uh, charts working, but uh, we'll, we'll get that working. So the New Zealand uh, Canadian dollar um, looks good from a valuation point of view. Um, just check up on that. New Zealand, Canadian. Yeah, it's climbing up. It's volatile historically, but um, if it hits this level three, I'd even jump in here because historically, well, it's it, it seems to historically move up and hit at least your level 236. So that's pretty good. Um, I, I'd probably jump in here at this level um, as it moves up, potentially, if it's got the momentum. And again, the momentum is driven by volume. So where are we at right now? New Zealand, 
Canadian. It's not too strong. Well, for some reason, this may be a tail end trade actually. Uh, New Zealand Japanese yen. Let me just check on that. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Is that the value of that spike I showed in a previous video is just coming off of the um, spike? Anything New Zealand, but it looks good. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not sure if it'll get the performance that we want. So we, the only ones we have is the USD ZAR and the USD TRI with the Turkish Lira. Um, USD uh, let's see, USD TRI. Let me just see if I can refresh this. Okay, no, nothing's changed. So the USD try. Yeah, ooh, ah, I'll have to fix this. So the USD try. All right, um, and the USD ZAR. I don't know. USD ZAR. Well, uh, when you look at the chart here, um, yeah, it's not much to go with. I, I'm not seeing anything that really excites me in terms of performance right now because I do believe the USD try and the USD ZAR are just very expensive. Um, yeah, I think we looked at this. Yeah, it's just outrageous. So it's it's kind of interesting how the performance is there, but the volume's there, and people are willing to take these trades. Um, and then when you look at, uh, again, if you look at the uh, reports, I'm sure they'll reveal some other things. I'll be doing more of that type of analysis. Okay, um, so let's go over to the crypto and see what's going on over there. Okay. So the crypto is an interesting one. It's, 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 I don't know. Yesterday and a few days ago, it was just doing crazy numbers on the, on the, uh, percent moves. Hourly change here, 6.62 and the XRP. Um, I have some, so you can see here, these are these bars don't show up because they're negative. Um, so, so we have by volume, I'll be cleaning all this up uh, as, as the bugs start to show themselves. Okay, so here we got some performance now. So we are looking at two XRP and XLM. So XRP against both against BTC. So XLM and XRP. So let's check out the performance here. So BAT is just getting clobbered. SC, wow, it's starting. Something's happening here. Something's happening here. Those are pretty nice for the last four hours. Okay, that's fine. ADA is... Eh. So... XRP, BTC. You can see everything's just tightening. Look what happens in the last one. It starts to consolidate and tighten up. Boom, it just pops. So who knows? Momentum. Is is, is that negative momentum? So it's just bare. Well, it's at zero. Uh, and the RSI is at 50. So nothing exciting to report there. XLM, I believe that was the other one we were trying to, yeah, XLM. So XLM, see, here's the problem. Nice moves up, boom, a nice bar there. And then you just, if you take on any of these positions, this is why I highlight this, it's these, um, Whipsaws, these hourly whipsaws, you could do it on a 5, 15 minute uh, hourly watch when you take on a position. These these whipsaws are, is what kills you. 
and uh, it's so noisy to be able to keep up with positive positions. That's why my system doesn't take on a lot of trades, but um, I'm going to change all that, I think, because there are better pairs out there. Um, I'm just not tracking them as I should. Uh, so not, 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 not exciting for these pairs. These are the sort of things obviously you just don't want to take these kind of hits. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so then the stop loss, again, everything's just too tight. The, I, I did mention this previously in another video. The only one that's got some form of volatility that you can kind of gauge a valuation using Fibonacci is this bad BTC. Everything's just, oh, and there's ADA as well. ADA uh, undervalued. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see what the, uh, if there's any performance on ADA. Oh, uh, see, it's negative. It is negative. Too bad. I, I, I would have uh, jumped on that. But, yeah, it's getting getting killed. Um, but nothing else to really brag about. The only area that I would put my money that looks remotely good is Asia, Hong Kong 33 right now. That's about it. Um, we'll keep our eyes up for other stuff. Uh, we shall talk to you later and I'll be cleaning up all those bugs as we get to it. Thanks for watching and being patient. Later.